let's look at this problem 1384 total sales amount by year with this problem we got uh, two tables one is product table and another is sales table if you look at the product table we got two columns product id and product name product id is the primary key for this table if you look at the sales table we got product id period start period in average daily sales and product id is the primary key to this table and product id is the foreign key to the product table so this period start and period in indicates the start and end for the sale for example if you look at this example the product id 1 starts at the sales starts at 2019 125 and the sales ends at 2019 to 28 and the average daily sales is 100 so that is the meaning of the period start and period end column the one more condition they have provided is the dates of the sales years are between 2018 and 2019 so the problem here they are telling is like we need to write a query to report total sales amount of each item for each year with corresponding product name product id report year and total amount we need to order the output by, by product id and report year let's take the sample example and understand the problem statement in detail in product table we got three products one two three and the corresponding sales in the sales table if you look at the product one the sale starts at 2019 125 and the sales ends at 2019 to 28 for product id 1 the year is just 2019 and the date difference between the start and end is 35 so 35 into 100 is just nothing but 3500 if you look at the product id 2 the sale starts at 2018 and the sales ends at 2020 so this includes three years 2018 2019 and 2020 for this product id 2 we need to print three rows as output one row with 2018 one row with 2019 and the last one with 2020 so for 2018 the number of days is just 31 since it has december 1 the number of days left for 2018 is just 31 so 31 into 10 which is nothing but 310 for 2019 it includes the entire year which is having 365 days so 365 into 10 is 3650 for 2020 it just includes only one day so 1 into 10 is 10 the same goes for product id 3 this is the problem statement and the solution they are expecting from us now let's come to our uh, ddl statement so i have prepared a ddl statement for you guys which you can use it in your local system you can try to alter the data set you can try to add more edge cases and you can practice in your local system and this is the expected outcome now before deep diving into the solution let's uh, understand the logic how we can solve this problem so if you look at the problem for each product we need to find the years associated with that right so once we know the year we need to calculate the number of days in that year we just if we can figure out the number of days then we can multiply the number of days with the average uh, daily sales amount to get the total amount so the one solution is we can use of a recursive cte so uh, uh, what we can do is like we can take the minimum date which is 2018 12 1 from the sales table and the maximum end date is 20 21 31 from the minimum date till the maximum date let's try to print all the dates in between once we figure out the complete date set we can then join it with the sales table based on the condition that the date should be greater than the start and the date should be less than the end at the end we can just have an group by over year and then we can just you know multiply the total number of days with the average daily sales to get the total amount so with this solution we will be able to understand the recursive CTE aggregation in detail now let's try to write and query for this problem let's make use of recursive CTE 
so let's break down the problem let's try to print all the dates from the minimum of period start and the period end so that's our first task right so let's start writing our query with recursive let's name this CTE as base data now let's find the minimum period start let's name it as period min date and let's find the maximum period end let's name this as period max date from the sales table so this will be our auxiliary query now let's do union on now what we need to do since we have the period min date we just need to add one day we just need to keep on adding one day till this period min date is greater crosses the period max date which is greater than the period max date let's select let's add an let's make use of this date add function let's add one day so here what I am doing on top of this period min date I am adding one day let's have the same name here and let's take the period max date so this period max date will remain same since we are uh, will be using this column in our where class so let's take this from the base data now when this uh, recursive should terminate when this period min date crosses the period max date so let's take this query should be executed only when period min date is less than the period max date now let's try to print all the dates from our base data table good seems like some error here let's make use of the from class good. if you look at this output we have got the, the minimum date as we know is 2018-12-1 and so our, our table starts from here and you can see we are just keep on adding one date from the minimum this will keep on continue till our max date when this period min date reaches the period max date this where class will be executed and the recursive CTE will be terminated now we have got all the dates associated for from the sales table now what we can do let's try to make use of this uh, base data function and let's join it with the sales table how we can do let's name this as a BD now left join with sales table yes on for on what condition we need to join with sales is like the base data dot period min date let me write so base data dot period min date should be greater than or equal to sales dot period start and base data dot period min date should be less than or is equal to sales dot period end date now what this will be doing it's like um, say from our base data we'll be uh, selecting the dates when you know uh, when the product is uh, live for sale let me print uh, let's take sales dot product ID sales dot let's take average daily sales and let's take base data dot period min date now let's try to print this output here you can see um, we'll be having one row having product ID and average daily sales and the period min date so based on the based on this period start and period end so whenever the uh, dates lies between the period start and period end we'll be having one row here output 
so we are not interested in this uh, complete date right so output they are expecting just an year wise aggregation so let's take just an year from the date as let's make it as report year cool so now we have got for 2018 this much number of rows belongs to product id 2 and the remaining rows belongs to product id 1 and for the other products now let's have an aggregation function let's count the number of rows which is having uh, a product 2 and uh, report year 2018 and if we know the total number of rows and if we multiply it with the average daily sales we'll be having the total amount right so what we can do let's take this aggregation function to the last So what we can do let's take count of one star stars the multiplication as let's take this as total amount since we are using application function let's group it by product ID let's group it by report here and then let's group it by average daily sales now let's try to print this output now we can see we have got an aggregated output but the output is not of a required order let's order it by product id and let's order it by report here so here if you look at it we have got product id 1 which is having 2019 and the total sold amount is 3500 and product id 2 belongs to 3 years 2018 19 and 20 having 310 3650 and 10 and for product 3 dash 20 19 20 and 31 30 and this is the expected outcome for this problem let us compare cool so now you can see in the output we are not printing the product name since we have not uh, make use of the product table so at the end what we can do let's left join it with product table p let's make use of yes dot product id should be equal to p dot product id let's include this product in our output p dot product name and let's group this as well and let's have ordering only on product id 1 which is the first column and a report here which is at the third column let me try to print this output uh, here you can see we do got product id 1 which is lc phone and 2019 3500 product id 2 has 2018 19 20 of the same output so we have achieved the desired output this is one way of solving this uh, hard problem is make use of recursive cte get all the dates join it with the sales table and at the end make use of the aggregate function to get the desired output. I hope this video is helpful.